finished it again. I ripped it out three times and then I got it. What it was is I didn't like this front part because this front part had like a, 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 like it was a bump sticking out and I didn't want that bump there. So now the bump is gone and the back had the same thing and I didn't want the back to have it. So it's finished. Now I can, now, and I didn't, you notice I didn't tie in my tail. Why? Because in case I had to rip it out again, but I'm not going to rip it out. I'll just leave it in. Okay, it looks really pretty. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. As you saw, I finished my, my poncho. Today, I wanted to talk about superstition. Like... Are you superstitious? And how superstitious are you? And how did these things get become? How did they become su um, superstitions? I forgot what my title was going to be. I don't remember. I didn't write it on my piece of paper. That's too bad. And how so superstitious are you? Was one of them, but that's not it now. And where did where did these come from? Well, anyways, do you ever knock on wood and wonder why you knock on wood? And you have to knock three times. Why three times? Because the tree spirit is in the in the wood. There's what was thought at one time that the tree spirit is in there. And if you didn't, you'd be jinxed and you would have bad luck the rest of the day. Or f for quite a while. So you better, you knocked on wood to, to um, make sure that the tree spirits protected you. Itchy palm. I used to think, you know, I don't know what you thought with the itchy palm, but... If my left hand itched, that meant I was going to get money. If my right hand itched, I thought I was going to have to give money. Well, they say that if you believe that the right palm, you will meet someone new. I hadn't heard that one, but I like that better because I don't want to have to give money. I'd like to receive it. So if your palm itches on the left, you'll receive. And they also was um, the thing about throwing salt over your right shoulder. Like, if you spill salt, you're supposed to throw it over your shoulder. And the reason for that was because you didn't want the evil spirits. It was supposed to get rid of the evil spirit, is what it was. And if you didn't, the evil spirit could overtake you. So you wanted to throw it in the devil, throw some salt in the devil's eye, and blind them so they couldn't find you. That was what that was. And a uh, horseshoe. Do you ever think of how a horseshoe is supposed to hang above the door? Some people like to hang it with the open end down. No. That means all your luck is running out. You want to put the horseshoe up so that the horseshoe has got the, the two sides are up. And if you find a horseshoe, hopefully it's in the ground just like that with the two sides up because then you're going to have good luck. Otherwise, you drain your luck. You don't want to drain your luck. And have you ever heard of the saying, step on the crack, you'll break your mother's back? I don't know what that one was about. But I used to play that. I used to, when we would walk in the church school, I used to go to summer church school with the seminarians. And we'd walk to the park, and we used to hop the cracks. Because if you stepped on the crack, you'd break your mother's back. And so I never stepped on the crack. I tried to stay off the cracks. And do you walk under a ladder? I will. What the story behind that is probably something will spill on you, maybe. I don't know why you don't walk under a ladder. But you're not supposed to open an umbrella in the house. Do you want to know why you're not supposed to do that? That I do know. The long time ago, when the emperors would be walking, they used to have the, the umbrella to shade the emperor as they were being carried through the sunny area. And the shade thing that they used always had the sun god on it. And so if you're not an emperor, you're not supposed to open an umbrella in the, in, in the house. Well, this used to be at any time before, but then they changed it and said it was okay to open an umbrella, especially in the rain. And if I ride the motorcycle again, I'm bringing an umbrella because we got caught, caught in traffic. One time it was the sun beating down on us really bad. And we're sitting there, and the people are in their cars with their air conditioning and waving at us. And here I am dying in the heat because the motor of the motorcycle was 
blaring on us and the heat from the pavement was blaring on us and the sun was beating down upon us. So, and then we got caught in the rain one time too and stopped in traffic. And if that happens, the water just pools down and sits in your seat and you end up with a wet seat. So I will have an umbrella and just make sure I tip it so that the water all falls off of me, not onto my seat and down into my seat. Because that could happen. And I might protect you. Mm -hmm. I might. You never know. Right. Um, lucky pennies. Do you ever pick up a lucky penny? If it's heads up, it's lucky. If it's, ta it's he tails up, you're supposed to walk past it. Well, you know, I pick them up whether they're heads up or tails up because a penny is a penny. And when I worked at McDonald's, you'd be surprised how much money was just thrown. People didn't want to carry their chain, so they used to just throw it. And every now and then, they used to send me outside to pick up any of the litter because um, I had a boss that was extremely conscious of how our parking lot looked. It was a reflection of our store, and our store was very clean. Everything was really clean. If you've gone into some McDonald's, it's like appalling, very appalling, because they'd be tissue and napkins and ketchup and who knows what all over the place. Well, our parking lot was real clean, and that meant our inside was even cleaner, and our bathrooms were really clean. Well, I used to go out there to, to clean the, pay, the driveway, and here'd be money just flung kids would not want to carry the change so they used to just throw it and I used to end up with quite a bit of money by picking up the change. One time, this is kind of gross, but one time there was money in the in the urinal. I had to clean the men's bathroom too. That was part of my job. And there was money in the urinal and I'm thinking, oh good grief. There was lots of money in the urinal, a lot. It was like so much that the water couldn't drain anymore. That's how much was in the urinal. Well, I had to pull it out. And so I pulled it out and I, I washed it. And that money got spent. <laughs> it really got spent on something. I don't know what it got spent on, but it got spent. Uh, let's see what other... Uh, let's see, we did the knock on wood. Mm -hmm. That's to keep the spirits away. Um, I don't know what else. My nose itches. Oh, that means I'm going to kiss a fool. <laughs> or meet a stranger, fall in love, or be in danger. Um, also, silverware. You could drop your silverware. Now, there's a story that goes with that also. If you drop a spoon, and it's a teaspoon, a young girl will visit. If you drop a tablespoon, it's an older girl. If you drop a fork, it's a boy. And if you drop a knife, it's a man. And if you drop a knife and it stabs into the floor... Say it's a sharp knife and it stabs, that's good luck. If it falls and it doesn't stick to the floor, there's going to be an argument or a fight before the day is done. So, better to let it stick in the floor. It might ruin your linoleum or your hardwood, whatever kind of floor you have, but at least there's no fight. Uh, Mr. Uh, this, this is going on to Mr. Brown now. Mr. Brown, <laughs> I know. Mr. Brown laid an egg today, so I'm, I'm, he's good, she's good. <laughs> Mr. Brown was making a lot of noise, and I came out to see what the noise was, and there's another egg in there. Mr. Brown laid the egg today. Thank you, Mr. Brown. You are such a very good little hen. Here's the little egg. This is his stone that I have him scratch on. I give him scratch on that, and that's why... What are you doing? Are you looking at the picture? Tap, tap, tap. Are you tapping it? You're tapping the camera? Well, the camera doesn't have anything, but the rock does. You can tell he's not afraid of the camera. For those of you that are confused, Mr. Brown is a girl. But because I named her Mr. Brown, and the reason I named her Mr. Brown is she... She was born the same day my Aunt Rosemary passed away. And if I'd have known it was going to be a girl, for sure, Mr. Brown's name would have been Rosemary. But because I wasn't, I really thought it was a boy, so I thought, well, just take her last name and just name it Mr. Brown. So now Mr. Brown is Mr. Brown, but Mr. Brown is really a girl. And, and he's actually white. And he's white. He's not even <laughs> brown, I know. But that's okay. He's got a little bit of gray on them. That's close enough to, to brown, I guess. 
And I just put him to bed, and now I've got to go pick up some poop because he pooped, or she pooped, before we came in. So I'll see you all in a little while. Take care. Bye-bye.